more than others? I think that Leo spoke to me the most because like he, he was like, I feel like the most real out of all of them. Well, I mean, Meredith was, but I feel like he was because he helped to like figure out things within the book and like he helped to figure out that uh, the girl that was living with him wasn't actually the one. Meredith was my favorite because she was the most normal. I feel like, like after they hit Shelby with the car, <laughs> she was the only one who wanted to do the right thing and turn themselves in. Meredith? I trusted her. You know what I mean? It yeah. Was trust okay. There. There you go. She was Meredith normal. was a victim. She? <laughs> yeah. I agree. <laughs> she was. In a, she was in a bad she, situation. Yeah. She was put in a really bad situation, and like they just like I don't like it really caught me off guard of what she did to her. Yeah. Delilah too. Yeah. Yeah. She did her and stuff. yeah. <laughs> I mean, she was going through a lot, like through the whole thing. And with those random text messages. Yeah. That was. That was horrible. That was made me nervous. It was a little bit scary. They yeah. were from her neighbor across the street with the oh, daughter. Right. Meredith tries to find a work-life balance while having two young children and a very unpredictable schedule as a doula. How do you feel about Meredith as a mother and how she raises her children? I think she did a good job. I think she also did a good job, but the fact that she and her daughter got kidnapped, um, what are you doing? Yeah, but she can't control it. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, she, she, like, she, was like, she was like getting them down. She really she was trying to tell her to like, yeah, 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 but like, no, no one can blame her because it literally describes me as being like really jacked and like really big. Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of, her husband was really like protective of her. Like he needs to carry like pepper spray or something around. He, she would not do it. She was real independent. Okay, I think she was a good mother, but with her being a doula, like she kind of had to just leave sometimes, and she focused a lot on her work. And that's like what was the question I'd ask about her work life balance. Yeah. I think that she kind of prioritized her job a little bit sometimes. Because she Yeah. I agree because then when she would come home, she would come home at like three AM and then she would just sleep the whole time and then right. the only thing she could see her kids was to take them to put babies in themselves. Honestly, I think she cared a little bit too much with the whole Shelby thing where she like literally drove to her house and was like worried about her for days while she had her kids just like going with Cassandra or I feel like that was just kind of, you got to stop caring at some point. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, maybe if she would have prioritized her kids more, she wouldn't have gotten kidnapped and killed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. <laughs> Especially because she was like, she was like, it'll just be a few minutes, I'll leave Delilah in the house and go out to the car and grab her stuff and all that happened. And kind of like, it's very <clears throat> Leo feels a great deal of resentment towards Delilah when she returns home. In this anger and resentment, is this anger and resentment justified? Yes. I think Absolutely. It's justified. Yep. He, I agree. He didn't even mind. remember his sister, and he was. I felt like he just always knew that that wasn't really Delilah, and for him to feel that resentment towards Delilah when she came back, especially because Delilah, I get that she went through a lot, but also. I felt like Leo was very overshadowed as a kid growing up with his sister being missing and his mom being missing as well. His dad didn't really pay attention. Yeah. He was he, all worried about his sister. He spent like all those however many, how many years was it that she was missing? Eleven. Eleven, yeah. He spent all those years looking for his wife and his daughter. <laughs> oh <laughs> my girl. And his daughter. He <laughs> spent all those years looking for his fleet. Oh my god. He spent all those years looking for his wife and daughter, and Leo was kind of just kind of like breezed on over. He wasn't, he didn't feel like he was important. So, like, imagine like your parents doing that to you, and then like your sibling comes home. Like, you wouldn't want to like be friends with your sibling because they are the reason why. I mean, not to mention that like he was literally bullied at school because of Delilah missing right. and all this and that. Right. So, he's gonna like, it's like, why would you want to be yeah. like, he's gonna happy. relate Delilah with all that bullying and all those so they're really not gonna like her. Right. His childhood was so overshadowed that he didn't get to have a child. Oh. I love the fact that like he was like, 
Yeah. Yeah. I really like that she didn't have like the same like features anymore <laughs> as she did when she was younger. I thought that was kind of like okay. Like she obviously grew up. She was obviously like. Well, yeah. are we talking about it's a different person? Well, we're talking about the same. We're talking about the same. Yeah. Friend that's all that. Well, and imagine all those, like, she's been, that fake Delilah, whatever her name is, Carly? Yeah. 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 She's been kept in a basement, in the darkness, getting fed, like, once a day, like, a spoonful of food. Yeah. Like, she's gonna be, like, pretty messed up. Okay. And she was beaten. So it's like, even though, um, like, they... <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, I feel like Dio, like, Dio was just Talk about the whole Gus situation. Oh my like god, the kid wasn't real. Gus wasn't real. Gus, no, no, no. Made him up. she because she was stuck in this basement for so yeah, freaking long in the like, darkness that her like mind like made up a fake kid. Like she didn't even make it. She didn't make him up. Like Curly breaked it. Like she thought he was serious. Like they made the whole plan to escape out of the basement together. Like the kid was like she real. Was, like, he when he didn't eat it, like I knew something was wrong. I, I didn't know. I was like, when I was reading the story, I was like, Gus didn't come back. Did <laughs> Wait a minute. I was like, then they escaped, and then she was saying like, I thought Gus was right behind me, whatever. And then when she looked back, like she couldn't uh, find him. And so she, she thought was, they they got him. Yeah. I mean, and then yeah. she spent. Didn't she leave her house the her house too to go find Gus? No, 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 because she told the police about Gus. Yeah. And the police started him. looking for him. And they were like, no, they can't find him. Yeah, it's because like, he was real. Because they found out who, like, oh, stole them. Right. And then they were like, yeah, it's only you. I right. thought it was so messed up that the lady cop, like, thinks the Lila's identity just to make, just to make you the dad happy. You can't do that. That was terrible. Yeah. You can't do that. She, like, spent 11 years with that family, and she's at here and like five to so It's just, like, selfish. So it really was. Just so she could get some time with Josh. Yeah. I yeah. How do you feel about Josh as a husband and a father? Did you ever consider him to be a suspect in the disappearance? Which characters did you consider to be suspects? All of them. All of them, I agree. I've made charts. I just like I didn't think B so was a suspect. No, I didn't no, either. I didn't think B was a suspect at all. She's a crazy. Yeah, yeah, and B was a or Kate was. Yeah. Like, the only person I didn't think was a suspect was B, and then she ends up being like the main person. I thought that Josh did it. I thought, Me it, was, too. I thought it was Shelby's husband. Me What's too. What's his name? I thought um, it was him. Until okay, yeah. Later. I don't remember his name, but he went to Yeah, I saw too, too, but the way that he like would meet Shelby and stuff like, yeah. right. made me think that it was him. I mean, like, I I didn't think they'd be, like, killed, like, Delilah and Meredith. I just thought he killed Shelby. Yeah, so did I. Especially when they were outside and the power was out and suddenly Josh just, like, just, like appeared. I was like, there's no way he isn't in it. And then he wasn't in it. Did anybody think that Meredith actually committed suicide? No. 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 Uh, <laughs> I said, because I, I, I didn't think it was me. I didn't think it was Kate. I didn't think it was Josh. And I was like, no way a six-year-old kidnapped mother and sister. Yeah. I was I was like Meredith the way she was acting in the text messages and she just seemed like I thought she placed a different like something. I thought she had like so mentally I thought some things happened. I don't know. I thought that Meredith had like went to her or something. Yeah, I agree with that. Like especially with the text messages. I thought she was like somebody's out to get me like and plus all the guilt from Shelby, like that guilt of Kevin Shelby, like the most of all the text messages that she didn't even like show her husband. I know she should have told somebody. I don't know what she said there. She was like, "The part of Chicago weather is as volatile as the story itself. How does the storm and spring weather add to the atmosphere of local women?" Listen, when the when all the bad things were happening, you know what it was doing outside? It was storming. You know, it what is that? More scary. No power. No power.
no like trees falling down. Yeah, trees falling down, lightning, Flood, marsh flooding. flooding. I think it's it bad. really just added to the erosion. The story. Yeah, I agree. It, it all like, took like a big part in. It. Well. Yeah. It, it just set like the vibe. It did. Yeah. It like did. a lot of so suspense. like if it yes. didn't rain when they hit Shelby, I feel like it would have just been like less. Because like dramatic. imagine when they hit yeah. Shelby, it was like they were like driving to the beach in their like bathing suits with sunglasses and <laughs> music. No, mm -hmm. it was raining. It was storming. And it just, it just added. Just, it created and then when a they buried her in the woods and it was like raining and they got the footprints and stuff, I feel like the weather like definitely. Like, the story like, spooky yeah and like suspenseful because like they can be like a hundred percent find evidence and also when the power went out i thought that was like interesting because maybe like they could have pulled a clue and killed somebody with the power side. i just like imagine when josh and leo first stepped out of that door and they knocked on it and they opened the door i just I know a big crack of thunder came it was like <laughs> oh <laughs> They should make a movie. This novel discusses obstruct obstructing violence and abuse. Did it surprise you to learn other things Meredith has witnessed as a doula or to read about Shelby's experience with her? Yeah. Meredith, um, that her witnessing, like, everything that she witnessed prepared her for all the things that happened in the book. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's give her some time. Okay. okay. We all remember what happens. What happened? Was, yeah. was it Shel was it Shelby's? Yeah. Baby. Yeah, Shelby it was Shelby's baby. situation. Basically, her kid got a little messed up because he, yeah, he got he had brain damage because when she had no, it was a he. It was a female. The baby. Yeah. Whatever the baby was. <laughs> the baby got brain damage because while it was being birthed. It got stuck, and yeah. then the doula, so Meredith, was like, well, we need to do an emergency C-section. The doctor said no because he thought that she was a S L U T. Excuse me. Yeah, and then he grabbed the baby with some tongs and yanked it out. It's, it's the, what is it called? Like, he literally wouldn't give the her a C-section because he thought that she was an S L U T. I don't know. Where her personal downfall went. She should have told somebody it shouldn't have been a secret. Yeah. 
and same with B and her lying about taking Delilah and killing Shelby. Like it all could have been handled way differently if they would have came out and just said the truth altogether. Or simply didn't go out and drink and drive. Exactly. I mean, like, like that's what it comes back to. At first, I didn't really understand why she didn't tell her husband, but like after I found out what happened to Shelby and all that, I kind of did. Yeah, I was starting to tell <laughs> they killed somebody. Yeah. What? I just. <laughs> <laughs> what you just said? <laughs> okay, just go to the next one. Okay. okay, number eight. Discuss the choices that B and Meredith made in the car the night of the hit and run. Do you think? Do you think B is a cold blooded killer or a desperate woman with no other way out? She's definitely cold blooded killer. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Cause like, I I don't think she. Yeah, does. I don't think so. B. No, if she was a cold blooded killer, think about this. She hit somebody in the bed she, with the shovel. Okay, yeah. Yes. And then hit a child. Okay, and then she, the we talked about she, it. If she, if, she was, if she was such a cold blooded killer, she would have killed Delilah. No matter what, no matter if she was this close to her family, she would have killed her no matter what. But Maybe she is a cold blooded killer. I think she was spot. so, she was such, so <laughs> desperate for her own freedom. She was just so desperate for her own freedom that she killed people and it's not right. But at the same time, she's not a cold blood. Okay, yeah, but she buried her. Yeah. And she wouldn't like let anybody know. And she. She was like manipulating. I thought yeah, she was manipulating Meredith. Meredith. And like, don't go to police. And, and he do said, that. and when she, when and she, 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 I'm not done. And when she <laughs> said, <laughs> and when she said, um, like, I like, and when she was like getting her back to the shovel of, uh, she wanted to go to the police, and she was just like, mm -mm, I'm not having this, and she killed her. Well, let me say something. Okay, <clears throat> So set up Shelby's husband to look like he did it. So she was protecting herself the entire time. She didn't turn... They didn't turn themselves in because... Right. Because why? Because B is a cold blooded killer. Right. Yeah, and I agree. And also, she had... But you just said she knows no, that. She had everything cleaned up so well. Usually, time. like... Usually, you get the talking sword. Usually, psycho... <laughs> usually, psycho killers have a plan. Like, they don't just kill somebody and then, like, like own it. Like, no. Like, B, she just kept going and going. And like usually that's what single killers do. I, th I think she just got scared. She didn't know like what to do. <laughs> what to do. So I just yeah. But if you're scared, you don't know what to do. Usually you like you, you cave like, in the yeah, things you, and like you, like you tell on yourself. Yeah. Okay. Like, but at the same time, <laughs> I can do but at the same time, I feel like if she was really a cold blooded killer, cold blooded killer, you could kill anybody, no regards to whatever feelings. But the entire time when B and Meredith got into that fight, she kept on repeating, like, I want my freedom. Like, freedom was her main reason, and she was so desperate to keep her freedom that she ended up killing people. I'm not saying she's not a killer, because she is a killer, but at the same time, she didn't kill Delilah. And Delilah seen the entire thing happen. And I... I know she's definitely something's going on in that head of hers because I don't know what makes her think she can do all this. Yeah. <laughs> but like, <laughs> here you go. Okay, but like at the end, she literally ran away, and even after she got caught, she ran away. She had a whole escape plan, and she was gone. Yeah. And as well as that fact, um, we did Kate it. or whoever literally said she never yeah. gone to her shop or anything, and this was before Delilah was taken earlier when it was describing like the past. Which means, how do we know she isn't already killing other people? And that she didn't, and maybe the reason she didn't kill Delilah was because she was like, oh, well, she's young and she's innocent and I can, like, sculpt her into whatever I want. So she just kind of kept her up in her attic. Which is psychotic. Okay, guys. <laughs> the second part of the question was, was Meredith as conflicted as B? No. Meredith wanted to be nice. Yeah, Meredith wanted to tell somebody because she felt guilt. And yeah, she wanted to take the blame for it. Yeah. Okay, so let me talk. So, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. No, but Meredith couldn't even like live with the guilt. B, it didn't seem like it, it bothered B. Yeah, she yeah, painted. Yeah. Oh, away. also, I want to stray away from the discussion, <laughs> the discussion question for the memento for before. And I want to talk about how. B kept obviously Delilah in the attic, but there was a window up there. And remember when she would crack the window and let B see her dad? I mean, and let see and let 
and let um wait she did what she yeah, let there was like a little circle yeah there was a little hole that she let that she opened to let um, Delilah. Delilah see her dad let's talk about that that's a little crazy to me but at the same time B was trying to probably make her not I don't know if it was to make Delilah not hate her for keeping her to like protect B from keeping her running away mm -hmm. and like ruining her life or if it was she genuinely felt bad let's talk about that a little bit what do you think I mean, let's be so for real. Delilah could have easily escaped. <laughs> like, How? The Choked doors. Out the window? The, I would First off, she was yeah, keep, kept. The, the doors, doors are locked. She can oh. unlock. She's in the inside. She can unlock. Be so, she could have. No, no, no. So remember, she had all those 500 locks in Yeah. There. They had the keys in the house. You can't unlock the lock. Unlock from. She was But she could have, like, she was in those art like. Okay. I don't know. What's that thing where you, like, fall in love with your captor or whatever, like Stockholm Syndrome, um, but not like actually like in love. She, I yeah. think so too, she, I think like, so too because cause she used to tell her dad, oh, I want to talk to B about this because B would understand. And she already had a relationship with Yeah, B, she already right? liked B so. and, right. Maybe that's why B think, didn't kill her. Personally though, yeah, if I right. was really close to someone and then got kidnapped by them, I would not like them anymore. But, okay, but she was like eight years old. Yeah, she, yeah, she was yeah, a really but, young child. She had the relationship with B already, but for B to kill her mom and for Delilah to see that, I think B no, made to rebuild. Know. Yeah, she did. She did. She, she, she did. Delilah was standing. Stand, stand she she thought. She, she washed thought. her, hit her with the yeah. hammer. She, she, she thought she was that killed. she killed her mom. Oh, yeah. okay. And I just feel like B needed to rebuild that relationship that she once had with her, and I feel like that's really why B did that little whole thing. I think she wanted to I think that B was really trying to rebuild that relationship with her, and I do agree with Kate with what Cadence was saying about the whole B was thinking she could like re sculpt the into like somebody else. A mini her. Yeah, exactly. I think that's exactly what B might have tried. I think that that was like kind of like crazy though, because like, why would you try to like make two of you? Like, what was going through your head for you to capture somebody to? I don't yeah. even know if she wanted to make her a mini her. I think it was more she just wanted to make her quiet. Yeah. Yeah. So she could, so we could trust her. I just I think, think that's she wanted so crazy. Trust. Yeah. It's it's not okay. Because in the beginning, they're telling us about how she made all these renovations and like it's soundproof and stuff. Yeah. She literally had the perfect like, room to kidnap the kid. <laughs> I think I think she had a plan though. Maybe she knew she like, was going to be her mom. Maybe. <laughs> but, like, how do we know she wasn't already killing people before? Like, it doesn't go into that much detail, and we right. know that she ran off. So who exactly. knows where? So maybe we need to where people. Yeah. yeah. Or she has other bodies. She, and I, I bet you it's soundproof. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel oh like, my god, this I is bet like she you. makes music there. <laughs> this is like you, guys. Also, I feel like... Yeah, sorry. I feel like just a little bit, like, all of it... It seemed really unplanned for B, but I feel like it was so unplanned that maybe it was planned, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Well, like, and it says she ran off with the keys and took the car and she was gone. And that's how she with... ran away. Like, okay, that seems so unplanned, but in all reality, was it? Yeah, also, um, her wife's name was what? Kate. 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 Oh, she hid it from her the I entire know. time. Kate, I she not you should go know. Into her privacy. There's, you yeah. should know if there's a child in your attic. Right. Like, and oh. Kate's like, I didn't go into her And also, there was space. blood after after we oh, hit Meredith with the hammer. There, there was blood everywhere. So right. how did? Uh, I just want to know how she cleaned it. I don't know how she, how she covered it. Which kind of makes me feel like she's a cold biker. And where, did she where was the wife when when oh, we got? Years? Our, what was the wife when Meredith got hit in the head? I'm pretty sure she was at work. She was at work. Oh. She all crazy. The day. I think. <laughs> um, I think that B is a cold blood yeah. killer. I mean, not. Nah. <laughs> I think she's a different woman because I because like Arthur said. Um, I think she would have killed Delilah if she was, and even if she killed other people, I just feel like she was scared to go to jail, and she didn't want to lose her freedom, so she went crazy and did all this stuff, which is like, psycho, because like, I'm the only person who do that, but I don't think that she's a cool <laughs>